And here we are again, low lives. <clears throat> a quick update and uh, the bits and pieces on the uh, the well-born. See a few bits and pieces there, but uh, hopefully you can catch that up. I've been very lightly polishing the frets. Here, yeah, they'll, they'll actually um, all seated nice and level, which was a bit of a surprise. But using my uh, nice, easy method of uh, clearing them up with a uh, little bit of 2000 grit on my little made up bit of wood. There is a video on it uh, in my I hesitate to say collection. My uh, legacy to the world. More apt, I should imagine. But, uh, well, we'll carry on with the tuners, machine heads, whatever you wish to call them, because you saw the last part, they're not the greatest bit. Some pieces about this uh, guitar. So here we are at the top end of the thingy. I think you can only call it a thingy. Certainly not the world's greatest instrument. At the moment, it's getting there. So the um, machine heads, which do I put on? These are the original things that came with the guitar, and they are, I wouldn't say uh, the worst in the world, but they're, they're getting that way. I was going to put these on, but then I find, hold on, I can only find five. So that's pretty much out. As are these. Um, not going to fit, are they? But hey, that's why we're all here to have fun. So it's going to be these. I've had these hanging around for probably about 15 years. I haven't done anything with them. But hey, hey, might as well. But we'll keep them like this. We'll take the back off and do them like that. At the moment, I have no idea. More authentic or more in keeping, if you know what I mean. Well, we'll check it out later. Well, there we go. You can see I've decided to put the uh, the newer tunes on here. Because when I kept the back off, it would all be marks around where the uh, things are. I have got some Grovers about, I found. But they were 10 mil. These ones are 9. It means I'd have to go out some dowling. Dowling? Dowling. Fill up the holes, then drill them out. No big deal in itself, but I haven't got a pillar drill. In fact, I haven't got anywhere to put a pillar drill. So this load of crap and this load of crap and another few boxes of crap I had to settle on these. Well hmm a little bit more to add. Taking the uh, old strings off some Martin one on here just to kind of rough in on the string height. It ain't good. Now, ideally, in having a look at other people's um, YouTube channels, the gap between the twelfth fret and the bottom of the string should be around about seventy thou. Well, let's have a look. Oh, oh. Well, let's have a look at what we actually got. 40 thou, 12 thou, 28 thou, 36 thou. Now you add them all up, and that's, that's, I'm quite confident that is more than 70. So, we're going to have to do something about this bridge. Well, the actual bridge, this is going to be more than it's worth. 
So, what to do about this? One thing we can do is see if there is anything or how thick the PCO pickup is, which I suspect, well, of course, I've, I've had a look before. So they don't have to be, um, well, that's the saddle, and it's not, well, one thing I did notice straight away, it's not actually flat on the bottom. And the thickness of the pickup is, well, Shall we just say, quite chunky. So there you go. I thought there might be some shims in there but when I first took it off, but as you can see, no. So, we can either make a mess of the saddle and have to get a new one anyway, or we can shave this down quite a bit or if I'm lucky I can find one that's smaller anyway and for a couple of quid a lot less hassle we'll see how that goes hopefully, hopefully this is going to be able to work out as been mentioned before that this it's very thin. You can see at the top of the uh, and the bottom where the back post well, the, is. It's very very thin. I'm going to have to put some few bits and pieces in there to hold it up. Where the um, See another one down there. Right along where the... Uh... The thing is... is Which is okay all together. That's going to have to thin. So I mean, when you put it up against the light, it work this out, which is going to be a bit of a bugger. Hey, look, it's my hand! Ooh. That's... Because there's one bit why it's very light. The only guess is to get... Once it gets the sunlight... Blimey, I don't... It's a parchment thing, isn't it? That's another... That's another thing to be putting up with. Right. This is going to be a few beers for this job. Speaking of beer, I have some ready. Get your laughing gear around that. I think it's going to take more than just these three.